Service dogs come in all shapes and sizes, but none bigger than Shenandoah the Great Pyrenees. But there's a problem. This 100-pound dog has a neurological condition that's caused her to become weak on all four legs. As Fox 31 Denver's John Bowman shows us, a local veterinary center has come up with a way for the big dog to continue working to help her owner. The strap goes across the top of her back. Okay. She's Shenandoah the Pyrenees getting into her ducky cart harness. Well, the three-year-old service dog has been trained by Connie Hine, who also has issues, which keep her in a motorized wheelchair as well. The pup's degenerative disease, which is like MS in humans, is keeping her from being able to walk about on long outings. So when Shenandoah started to develop her spinal cord problem, she started not being able to hold her owner up, and she utilized her as a brace to help walk. These dog-on-wheel carts were primarily made for dogs recovering from surgery, but now they're being put to another use. Shenandoah is trying it out as a service dog. Come. You just come. It'll come with us. It'll come with us. I know it feels strange. There you go. But it's going to come with us. Yeah, see? Look, it's coming with us. Big pooch. My problem is my whole body. So it's I need need strength everywhere. And she provides that for me. She picks things up for me. She keeps me safe. Safe in a couple of ways, Connie says, as a guard dog and because people see her coming. People don't notice people in wheelchairs. You can, it's like being invisible sometimes. Even with the treats, Shani is trying hard to understand. I think it's going to work well. She doesn't, see, she's just trying to get used to it, but she doesn't seem intimidated by it. This is a dog that's devoted to her. Um, sad, I don't think she's sad. I don't think the owner's sad. I am, because um, it's hard to watch. As Shani gets used to the cart. It should help her quality of life, because if she can exercise in this and keep up her strength, then again, she can be mobile for a longer period of time. Come on, sweet girl. Improving mobility for both Connie and Shenandoah. In Inglewood, John Bowman, Fox 31 Denver. It looks like she's getting the hang of it. Those doggy carts cost about $1,000 each, and this one for Connie is being donated by the company that provided the Englewood Veterinary Center with rigs for pets recovering from surgery and therapy. There are plenty.